Uh, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, hi, nice to see you. So today is the first upload of my promises where I say I'm going to consistently upload and actually be a good YouTuber. See, I would, you would have had an upload last week, but my computer was kind of broken for a little bit. Anyway, it's fixed now, so um, we're back on track. Again, if I'm going to be posting more frequently, I said the stories were going to get a uh, little bit less entertaining, but that is not true for this week, because this week, I have a banger for you, all right? So Minecraft was not the first game I ever played, right? When I was six, let me tell you, Checkers, Checkers was my game. I was so good at Checkers, I would play my grandparents, I would play my parents, I would play my siblings, I would say, hey, do you want to play Checkers? And it got so annoying that my parents were like, hey, maybe, maybe stop playing Checkers. So my dad introduced me to chess. And I have basically, listen, I'm a 16-year-old man now. I'm not, someone said I sound like I'm 32 too, but I, I don't buy that. No, I'm not 16 now. I'm 17. What am I thinking? Anyway. Oh no, my keybinds. <gasps> what? I do not take that death. That was my keybinds fault, not mine. Anyway, yeah, where was I? So chess. Um, if you didn't know, this game, this game kind of blew up over like 2020 with like Hikaru Nakamura and like uh, Charlie and you know those people, right? Also, this guy dead, 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 dead. So I've been playing this game for like 10 years now because I am 17. Yeah, not 16. Got it. I've done the social rule number one. Like, if you want to succeed socially, the number one tip is don't join a chess club, right? And I've been a part of the chess club for like four years now. Oh, oh my, uh, how did, okay, well, let me not walk off the map anymore and maybe I'll be able to win. So people who attend chess clubs are nerds. Listen, we all know each other and we play at these tournaments things. I am rated 1700. That is right. That is dumb. Um, it's a pretty good, right? So online, that's like, that's like 1900, something like that. If these numbers don't mean anything to you, just, this is like, imagine I just said I have like 7,000 trophies in Clash Royale. That, that's how impressive what I just said was, okay? There's a man right behind me, isn't there? Yes, there is. Oh, that's not an enderpearl. That's an enderpearl. Okay, well, I'm good. I am, let me tell you, not going, not going so good so far. Oh, this, oh, there we go. I got it back. I got it back. Oh, it's in the back. No, it's not. Uh. I'm running a lot right now, and I want to be doing a lot more killing. Like that, see? So I'm playing a quad. I have two rounds as black and two rounds as white, right? The first two people are 1800s, and then the last dude is an eight-year-old. This man is a prodigy. This man is insane. He's rated like, I think he's rated like 1900, but he's only like eight. So, oh my gosh, he has never lost a game yet. And I am, I'm quaking, right? So the first three games I win two, I lose one. You know, it's not a big deal. They were against some like old dudes. Cause again, it, the, I'm playing chess. So like the, the, the game kind of like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Target demographic, if that's a thing. It's, it's kind of like the elderly guys who sit in parks and play the game. Also rolled, 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 rolled. So I beat the first two guys. They're both 1800. I had a really good checkmate on that one guy and I was very proud of it. And then he got up and left because he got real mad. But, but you know, that's not, that's not the main topic. Anyway, so I'm playing the last kid right and i get up and his dad's there his dad's watching him is he teabagging the guy he just killed yes he was don't do that bud come here oh he jumped oh it's been so long since i played skywars i forgot what it was like anyway so i'm gonna explain something and you're not gonna know what this means at all so i'm playing this this eight-year-old kid right i start with the white pieces and i play e4 he plays c5 right this is called the sicilian defense if you don't if you don't care about this that that's fascinating anyway um, he's playing the game, right? He's, he's moving the pieces and in the opening, he loses a pawn. He's a pawn down and the end of the game, right? Throughout the entire game, I'm just, I just have this pawn and listen, pawns are a big deal because once at the end of the game, they turn into a queen if you get them to the other side. Did you know that? Oh my gosh, I'm talking about chess. I'm going to lose all my subscribers. That's okay. Anyway, so the kid gets a pawn down and then he eventually gets another pawn down and he didn't make any massive mistakes, but it was just like a slow death for him, which is like really, really depressing from his point of view. Cause again, this man has never lost a game. He's eight years old and he's a prodigy also his dad behind him is oh i'm getting rolled by that man let's try that again oh god here it is here it is here it is here it is i forget how to click i'm not clicking well uh well okay that is the first death of the video that i will take that was fair anyway the time control for the for the tournament we're doing right it's 40 minutes per side and every time you move you get five seconds back so these are long games so i am moving pretty quickly this man this eight-year-old across from me, he is slow. He is really slow. I move and he, listen, he, he stops and he thinks and then he looks at his dad and then he thinks. Also, his dad like drills him on this. His dad is like one of those, one of those guys who like all his child does in, in his chess. He's like, I, it scares me. Anyway, around move 30 in the game, he starts like sniffling. And I think this man's sick, right? Um, but, but he, oh, oh, never mind. I thought he was sick. 
right? But th but then he put his head down and like he, he put his head down for five minutes. And now I'm incredibly uncomfortable right here because because I'm not supposed to talk to him. You're silent when you play chess, right? So he puts his head down and he's just there. And his dad comes over, bumps him on the shoulder, and goes, uh, he's, he says something in like a different language. And I'm I'm just like uh, I'm kind of shocked and I'm like real uncomfortable at this point. Uh, die, please, please, please. But I I'm taking your Nemo from you if I have to. Pr oh, that's not a ender. Pr okay. In terms of gameplay, this has been the worst video I've ever been in because I've jumped off the edge like um, five times now. Listen, I, I didn't play Minecraft for like two, three weeks, so um, uh, man, it hurts. Anyway, after his dad comes over and like talks to him, he kind of gets better. He gets up and he, he starts playing the game again, but the game just keeps going downhill. And listen, once in chess, you get to something called the end game. You know who's going to win and you know who's going to lose unless someone makes like a horrible mistake. And this kid is down bad. He's down five points of material. And I think it was like, it was a, it's a knight and two pawns. I think he's down. So he's, he starts to get upset and he starts to cry. It was only a little tear, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, he's crying, but he's not, he's not like making any noises he's still playing and it slowly gets worse every single time i move i see the pain in this man's eyes slowly increase so we're in the end game and he knows he's gonna lose and at one point we're at like move 55 and it, it's like a obvious loss for him i'm pushing a pawn forward it's about to be a queen and he just oh my gosh this man starts sobbing like like the most violent <laughs> like anyway um that was that was my impression of it i'm never gonna do that again but he is sobbing and he doesn't he doesn't listen in chess normally if you're playing like competitive people who are really good you don't you don't end the game by checkmate you end the game by resignation which means you look at your position and you're like yeah this, this is hopeless and then you just say okay i resign then you shake your opponent's hand and then you leave right but um this kid he's he's not gonna do that so he's sat there like crying sobbing really really loud for like three minutes and then the tournament guy comes over and is like, uh, and then his dad walks over to me and, and he looks at the position and he goes, he resigns, he resigns. And then I'm doing so bad. Ah! But anyway, the kid has like snot streaming down his face and he's like bawling horrifically. And everyone, everyone in the tournament, cause there's like, there's like 50 people in the room playing games probably. And he, he is wailing. Everyone is looking at him. No one is paying attention to their game. The tournament guys are surrounding our table. I am uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. It's bad. So the kid puts out this trembling hand and he goes, <gasps> I resign. And then, and then he, and then the second I shake it, I, I, I'm like, dude, you, you played a good game. You, you didn't make that many mistakes. Good job. And he, he just goes, Ugh! and he puts his head down on the table and he just wails. And his dad picks him up and carries him out of the tournament hall. We heard him crying because he was sitting right outside the door for the rest of the tournament. And I felt so bad. That, oh, this guy's hacking. And although I was incredibly uncomfortable, my heart rate was going really fast and I was like, felt so bad for the kid. Was it worth it? Yes. You know why? Because my ELO at the end of the day went up 32 points from this tournament. That's right. This kid lost points. I put the first L on his record. Big dubs for me. I was proud. Listen, I, I don't think it was my favorite whenever. Oh, that man got harassed. Oh my gosh. Look at that. By the way, this is how you cope with hackers. You you don't you don't you don't even try to kill him. You just you just. Anyway, I'll tell this I'll tell this. Sto Wait, can I kill him? Uh, I'm just I, I'm not even. No, we're not we're not messing with that. But at the end of the day, I came in first out of my quad because the other the other two guys, the other 1800 like old guys, only won like because uh, they both lost to the little kid and I I beat the little kid. So you know who won the tournament? That's right, I did. Also, that guy was a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway wait 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 so th this is me this is this is this is real world thank you I i'm here wait 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 so listen um you might ask me was it worth it would i do it again listen that that's that's all i'm saying okay i i got i got the trophy out of it i got the trophy so so i, I would do it again anyway um um yeah anyway have have a nice day make yourself some tea okay i'll i'll